2021 muzzleloader elk hunt is in the books. Ryan and Zach made it for a pretty good time. Zach was shooting his 54 caliber CVA mountain rifle and Ryan was shooting his 54 caliber round ball Thompson Center Hawking rifle. I'm shooting my 50 caliber Thompson Center Hawking rifle with uh, Hornady 385 grain hollow point hollow back slug with 90 grains of 3F powder. Goax, of course. But it's been a good hunt. We've all had a good time. No elk were killed. We sure had a good time. Bullseye! Well, howdy. Now that we've Shot the Thompson Center 50 caliber Hawking. We gotta clean it. Yeah, I'm getting ready to take her home. So, like you do with any muzzle oil, you wanna clean it right after shooting. I'm not gonna give it the full scrub a dub dub. I'll do that when we get home and get a little more intimate with this here firearm. What I am gonna do though is I'm gonna remove the nipple. If I can clean it out, I like to give it a quick Wipe down with some alcohol and then some ballastol or some other solvent to clean out the little bit of fouling from the one shot and then uh, put some rust preventative so it can ride home safe and sound, not going to get no rust. That's a tool that I like to use, it's a Thompson Center nipple wrench. Makes the job a little easier. So I don't Douche it down real heavy with the alcohol swabs, but enough that it knows it's had a shot or two. There's a little alcohol on there. I'm gonna take my range rod. Pick my table up. Run that patch down there. A little muscle to get her out of there. There we go. And even after one shot, you can see she gets a little bit fouled up and dirty. That just gets the gist of it out for right now. Not making a full cleaning like it says. I'm going to take a little bow stall on a Q-tip. <coughs> Wipe out the flash hole. And hammer. All that area got a little bit of flash that could cause corrosion on the way home. Wipe down the nipple a little bit. Always want to wipe down your nipples. Good practice. Lube them up a little bit around the thread so they don't key road. And we just put her back in until it's time for the big wash. Somebody back at the ranch coming through the door. I can hear my sneak detector going off. Probably the wife out feeding the horses this morning. She's feeding horses while I'm hunting and laying on the mountain. And give us a clean piece of cloth. Spray her down real good with some bell stall. Boy, I love the smell of that stuff. That smells like Victory. Now put that on there, run that down with the old brass range rod. Now 
And we'll run one more down for good measure. Like I said, this is not your full cleaning. This is when you shot once or twice and you want to wipe that gun down and get home and give it a real good douche down in the bathtub or the kitchen sink or wherever mama lets you clean your muzzle on. I can clean it all the way on the range. We've got a storm coming up here on the mountain and I got to get my camp trailer loaded up and get off the mountain from the elk hunt before I get snowed in. So I'm just doing a basic range clean, what I call it, and then preserve with a little ballast all so she don't corrode on the way home. The ride home's only going to be about four hours, but I don't even want four hours worth of key erosion going on in my gun. But anyway, that's it. Had a great hunt. Hope you enjoyed the video. Mind your top knot.